Uh, good day, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are watching from. I beg, I don't get too much things to talk. I don't get too much things to say because somehow, in a way, even though the election never really touched ground, but he, some things does develop me when I see from our people all over northeast and west of our country right now in Nigeria. It's very, very concerning. Eh? It's very, very, very concerning. Like me, I'm. How would they talk those things for worry those days? I'm flagabasting, you know? Like, I'm very, very surprised. I'm very, very, very surprised that even after all these uh, almost eight years of very, very, very hot brutality by the police, the military, and on, on poor and innocent citizens of the country, banditry, kidnapping, Boko Haram and the rest, the hardship that has befallen our our country for the past uh, almost eight years. I am still very, very surprised to see that some people really have the nerves, the girls, the confidence to come and say they are campaigning for APC or they are campaigning for Tinubu or Atiku or whatsoever. I'm really, really surprised. It makes me... I don't understand what you're able to say. I don't. I really don't get it. Why we should be actually divided over, who, like, who to be our next president? Mokuna, just see you. See what you happened yesterday. Mokuna, just see what you happened yesterday. UK, a system that has been stable and consistent for the past many years. They just appointed 42 years old. 42 years old guy. I mean, guy, I'm not gonna reason now. They're not getting young people for their parliament. I be in one terminal say young uh, old. Uh, I mean, they don't get old people for their parliament. They not get. They not get old billionaires and millionaires in their country. We say those set of people no fit run for their country. Why must we be? campaigning and going for old people like the Tinubu. You understand what we are saying. We are not saying that Tinubu does not have the whatever, the where to do or where about to run the country. That he will run the country the same way Buhari has run the country. You look at the look at her uh, no disrespect. I, I want to say this very clearly. No disrespect to his personality and uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu is rude. Look at how he's talking when he's addressing press. Look at her. that's why they are keeping him away from the, from from debate and all those kind of things. Look at how he's telling people to shut up. Look, he's not even here president. He say I want to be president because I I know the way. I am smart. You look at he say he say, he say, he say some ignorant Nigerians. You have not been elected. Look at what Tenubu is saying. Is that the kind of person you, we want to give our country to, judging by the way things are right now? Or is it, is it Atiku? Atiku, according to, uh, uh, I'll play the video after now, what Iwike has to say about Atiku. He can't confront Wike, who is, who is indirectly expecting a good cooperation between him. And uh, Atiku cannot relate with Wike in River State peacefully. A Nigeria problem we won't solve. Nigeria problem big pass all article money, whether we like it or not. I'm really surprised. But one thing I just want to say, just see this thing when governor of Edo State talk or Basiki. If Nigeria we not choose the right person to rule us for the next election, first of all, everybody will go their way. Second of all, haha. <laughs> The West could take a very huge advantage of us, but God forbid, Sha, God forbid, because I know Nigeria will stand sure. We, if we miss this election, if we miss this election, I said it some years ago, people think I'm stupid. 2015, it was, it was just a fine tuning. 2019, we miss it. If we miss this 2023 election, huh? Only God knows what to go happen. No. Let me not use my mouth to speak negative because. <sighs>
the onus is not the onus will not be something we can we can even right now when they say let's wait for the eight years to finish the eight years is gradually coming to an end now february whatever we'll have election february 25th if we miss this election if we miss this election in electing the wrong people into position uh sapa will be smarty but I pray we'll not miss it. My name is Harry. Thank you for listening. Let's vote wisely, please. Let's rally round for the right person, which is Peter B. You and I know that is the right person. Forget whether I did all these things they are saying. Now, if OB is not a threat to them, they will not be bringing all these their odd, odd, odd facts against him. They know that they are on their toes right now. They know quite all right. And the race is between Labour Party and uh, uh, APC because they know if they lost the, if they lose the election, it's going to be very terrible for all APC members. And the normal dumping from one party to another party will not exist. Thank you for listening. Talk or leave, no time to talk. Time. Let's do the right things. Vote Nigeria. Vote uh, Labour Party. Vote Peter Obi for President 2023. If you like your country. Oh, why is it that they don't see uh, the presidential candidate's uh, picture, the party chairman? I said, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? The presidential candidate <coughs> entered my state and picked members of the presidential council without the whole governor of the state having a contribution. The presidential candidate entered River State, picked those he wants to pick without the contribution of the governor. So they said they don't need me to campaign for them. That they don't want the mass people to campaign for them. Will you force yourself? Will you force yourself? <laughs>